Howdy everybody and welcome back to Rare Roundup. Today we have kind of a different episode. I have no openings, but I've got a bunch of good old school holographic cards that I'm going to be sending off to PSA. I wanted you guys to take a look at them before I got my grades back. I've got three pretty big stacks here. Um, some of, I've got Japanese and two English. So we'll start out with the Japanese cards. Move these back here. Just to show you guys what I do have here as far as old school goes. Alright, hang on. Get this set up so I can see it. Alright, so we have Koga's B Drill. That's a Japanese, obviously, from the Gym Challenge set. We got Slow King, and I think that was from Neo Genesis. Steelix, that was also from Neo Genesis. Uh, Kingdra, Neo Genesis. We got Brock's. Um, Nine Tails, that was from Jim Heroes. Mr. Mime, that was from Jungle. Vaporeon, from Jungle. Pidgeot, from Jungle. Moltres, from Fossil. We got a uh, Dark Vileplume, from Team Rocket. Meganium, from Neo Genesis. Probably one of my favorite cards from Neo Genesis. A Pichu. I loved this card. I pulled this when I was a kid. Um, I had two of them. I don't know what the heck happened to the other one, but... Yeah, that was like one of my favorite cards from that set, just the look of it. And uh, this is Typhlosion from Neo Genesis, uh, Jumpluff, Neo Genesis, Dark Golbat from Team Rocket, Pinsir from Jungle, we got two of those. We got Arbuck, two of them from the Team Rocket set. My, my boy Gengar from uh, Fossil, Good Old Clefairy from Base Set, Skarmory, I think that's Neo Genesis, yeah. That's a really cool card too. Zapdos from base set. Flareon. Love the background on that Flareon from Jungle. Uh, Zapdos from Fossil. And another Moltres from Fossil. So those were my um, all of my old school jungle holographic cards. Well, not jungle. Just old school Japanese, not jungle. Jeez. Which, I'll go with this stack first. It, this stack has a little bit more newer stuff in it. All right. I'll do this in parts, because this keeps falling everywhere. So, we have a Shining Tyranitar. I think that was from Neo Discovery or something like that. Dragonite. That was from the first movie. I'm trying to get it situated so you guys can see the cards. Ancient Mew. That was from the Pokemon Movie 2000. This is my actual copy I did get from the movie theater. Kept it really nice, obviously. Moltres promo. Black Star promo. These are like the little, I guess, extra cards that come with these old school promos. I saved them just because. Uh, we got Entei, Dark Blastoise from Rocket. A pre-release Misty Seedra. That was when they were doing the, you know, release sets before the actual Gym Hero set came out. You can get this at like one of the events. Dark Gyarados, that's from Rocket. Ooh, a first edition pre-release. I think they're always first edition. Was that another one first dead? No, he wasn't, actually. But, uh, yeah, first Ed, pre-release, Fossil, Aerodactyl. Black Star promo from the first movie, Pikachu. Uh, Black Star promo, Mew. Black Star promo, Zapdos. Base set, Mewtwo. Base set, Polyrath. I love Polyrath, by the way. Dark Doug Trio from uh, Rocket. I've got a few of them. More than a few. I've got three, it looks like. One of them I just pulled um, a year or so ago from a Rocket Booster Box. So these these ones are actually in really good shape. I expect to get nines and tens on all of them. Oh boy, I'm getting a call. But we're going to have to just ignore that for now. Dark Magneton. And then I have one in First Ed. There's another first movie promo, Mewtwo. Uh, here comes Team Rocket. I think I got that from the box. Rainbow Energy. Dark Charizard. That's a non-hollow. I did pull the hollow version, though. Dark Dragonite, non-hollow. Everything totally was in order before I started filming this video. But then I dropped everything, and it just kind of got all mixed up. So you're going to have to deal with the unorganizedness for now. There's another one of those promo cards that I was telling you guys about. It's got Unknown and Pichu on it. Kind of cool. Then we got a Dark Blastoise non-hollow. This, I have... 
This I got out of a fruit roll-up box back in the early 2000s, potentially late 90s. It's got a it's a meow from Jungle, and it's got a gold uh, edge on it. Pretty cool, kind of unique. Dark Magneton non-hollow, Dark Machamp non-hollow. I'm just gonna kind of fly through the non-hollows. We got Rocket Sneak Attack, Dark Arbuck, another Doug Trio, Slowbro. Alakazam, you saw them, Machamp, another Rainbow Energy. So here we are, back at some hollows again. Now these ones, these are from a Jim, that Jim Hero box I showed on my channel. I didn't open it, unfortunately. I did it before I had the YouTube channel, but I opened that, and I got Scyther, Rocket's Hitmonchan, Rocket's Moltres, Blaine's Moltres, I like the artwork on that, uh, Erica's Vileplume, there's another Dark Arbok from that, Erica's Clefable, Lieutenant Surge's Magneton, love Magneton, and I love the electric sparks between the magnets. And that Electabuzz. This is a shout out to my friend Matt. I did get this one in the box, but this card in particular I've got good memories with. When we were growing up, he lived up the street from me, and there was a church next door to my house. And we used to meet there like every other day and battle uh, Pokemon cards and trade sometimes, and that was one of the cards that he traded me back in the day. Can't say I remember what I traded him, but I, I just really like that Electabuzz. It was a really cool card. And I had an electric deck I used. Lieutenant Surge's Fero. Brock's Rhydon. Let me get this in a better angle here. Can I, can I hold this right? Jeez. Okay. There we go. Misty's Tentacruel. Misty herself. Erica's Dragonair. Love the background on these old school cards. Brock's Ride On again. Another electric uh, Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. Azumarill from Neo Genesis. Typhlosion from Neo Genesis. Fraligator, Neo Genesis. Jumpluff, Neo Genesis. Blossom, Neo Genesis. This, I pulled. It's so crazy I remember this. I was at, like. I used to live in Ohio. I live in South Carolina now, but I was at the Cleveland Mall, or the, the big mall in Cleveland in the city. I can't remember what it was called, and it was during the summertime, and I asked, begged my mom for a pack of Pokemon cards, and she gave in and bought it, and that's what I got out of it, and I thought that was awesome. Houndoom and Dark Scizord and that stack. Okay, this this is a pretty good stack right here. Probably has the best stuff in it. It's got some base set, got some other stuff, so. Okay, now, this Hitmonchan is in really good shape. I opened up a base set pack Unfortunately, before I decided to do the YouTube channel, and I pulled that out of it, so that was a good pull. That's definitely getting sent off. Both the Charizards most likely will get sent off. Those are base set Charizards. They're not all in really that great a shape. You know, some of these are from my childhood, uh, and they're kind of beat up. So some probably will get sent, some won't, but most likely going to just send like almost all of them. Polyrath, we got Haunter, then Haunter in First Ed. Love Haunter. Hypno. Another Magneton, Muck, Mewtwo from base, Articuno, First Ed, Entei, another um, Aerodactyl, that's not First Ed or anything, but it's just another Aerodactyl, a bunch of Entei's, I don't know why I have so many of these, but I do, oh, this Raichu, I love base set, this is probably one of my favorite artwork cards in Pokemon in its entirety, just love the background on that. Um, just love Raichu in general. And I got two of them. Three of them. Wow. Uh, Zapdos. I didn't even know I had three of them. Chansey. Nidoking. We got a good old Venusaur and another Hitmonchan. Two of them. And a Ninetales. Now, I gotta make some room here. Let me get some stuff out of the way here. Alright, let's finish it up. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Okay, can I hold this good? Mr. Mime from Jungle. Oh, first Ed Pincer. I'm dropping everything. I need to get a grip, literally and physically. Well, that's what I meant, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pincer, Pincer, Electrode, Raikou, one of my fa the favorite of the three dogs, in my opinion. Kabutops, Venomoth, Snorlax, Kangaskhan, Nidoqueen. Scyther. I'm gonna like, oh, jeez, I totally dropped 
that, man, these, just so you know, I'm not sending them off to PSA in these top loaders with these uh, sleeves. You're supposed to send them in um, these type things with like a penny sleeve. These are like the softer cases. So, that, yeah, it'll be a big joy to get all these cards out of these cases and send them off, but what are you going to do? Clefable, Scyther, Pidgeot, Vileplume, come on, Electrode, Lapras, Gengar, there's the Dark Charizard Hollow that I pulled from that uh, Rocket Box, Dark Dragonite, another good pull from that Rocket Box, Dark Raichu, probably the best pull you could get from the Rocket Box, aside from the Dragonite and the Charizard, because it was the first ever secret rare ever printed in Pokemon, number 83 out of 82 is what that says right there. Plus the background on it looks awesome, and Raichu, once again, one of my favorite Pokemon. Dark Magneton, another Dark Dug Trio, because I've got a million of those. Dark Machamp, Dark Slowbro, love that Team Rocket dude in the background, real cool. Dark Alakazam, Dark Vileplume, Dark Goldbat, Team Rocket, Jesse and James with Meowth, looking awesome, Rocket Sneak Attack, Dark Weezing, and a First Ed Dark Arbok, and another Dark Arbok to end it. I think that was everything, but just in case, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I showed you guys all this already. Alright, well, anyways guys, that's just a... A little bit of my uh, old school hollows that I actually think are worthwhile to send off to PSA. You know, there's a handful in here that I'll probably not send off because they're kind of beat up and they're from the childhood. But I hope you guys enjoyed once again. Uh, more videos coming soon. Stick around. There will be a base set booster pack opening in the future. Um, give me a couple more weeks when I have the funds to afford them. But they are coming, just so you know. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot, and uh, yeah, keep rounding up rare cards out there. Thanks again.